Welcome to another episode of Life Outside the Box. I am your host, Action and Director, and I'm here with a very special guest today. This is my man, Rico. Rico, what's going on, bro? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling, man. And um, I'm glad to have you on the show today because, you know, uh, throughout this whole pandemic stuff and the Breezy Lake show that uh, we actually met on, um, I like to point out certain people in this culture. And me and you created a bond right off the rip when it came to sneakers. And, you know, often we text each other, exchange words on Instagram and everything like that as far as when releases happen and did we get a drop. We shared screenshots of the sneakers app and how much we don't get them. But, you know, every time. Um, but right here, what you bought is something special. And um, I had a guest on here that bought something similar. It wasn't the same company, but it was black owned like this is black owned here today. Um, he bought some cool cars here on this show. And then you bought today uh, some some Sires, right? Yeah, Sire Collective. And the reason why I brung these today, honestly, is because I feel buying black is important, especially right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. We living in a time where it's the most entrepreneurs ever. Right. It's the most of our people making money. So I just want to support that and be a part of that. Cool, cool, cool. And, and right off the back, the box looks um, extremely interesting. Uh, I can see it has a Halloween theme to it. Um, but uh, what, what do we have here? What did you bring for us today? So just a quick backstory on why I even have them. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I always, always watch horror movies and by myself or you know, with my older cousins and stuff like that. Is that why your and voice is so deep? I'm, I'm oh. starting to think so. <laughs> you, like, you sound like a horror movie. <laughs> nah, no, no, no bullshit, but go ahead. But um, Freddy and Jason were some of the biggest horror movies growing up back then. Absolutely. Right? Like, Absolutely. it wasn't nothing scarier than that. Nah, not so at all. So, being an adult, when I learned about Sia Collective and what he was doing and the stuff he was making, I pretty much just followed him. One day I got on the Instagram and actually saw that these were on sale. Like he had just, just dropped it first minute. I didn't wait. I bought them right then and there. Oh, nice. Nice. Because they're just real different. And it pretty much makes me remember my childhood. Right. And it, it must have been destined for you to have them because I know when it comes to people like Sire and when it comes to people like uh, Cool Kai, um, they sneak a sellout in minutes like that exact exactly and it's very hard to get them um and and you ended up you have three pair actually right this yeah, is this is so one of, this, this is, is one, one of the three um i'm wearing one and i have one at the crib that uh yeah i just keep in a stash right now oh that's dope I'll put so that you, on from yeah, time to you, time you support black owned businesses a hundred percent oh I, yeah I, I, I like that a lot gotcha. um so yeah let's see the sneaker let's see what we got here Definitely a sneaker. Okay, this, yeah, this is definitely Freddy. I love to put on, and you're not gonna know who they from. I yeah. know I'm one of one wherever I'm at, right. every time. Right. And that's what that's what so that's what's so dope about them because you're not gonna see these on anybody else's feet. And I, exactly. I've said this on the show before. I like being able to step out um, and not worry. Damn, he got on the same pair of sneakers. He got on the same pair of sneakers, and now you got to compare outfits. Who got the, who put it together better? Stuff like it's just it's just a lot. But these are definitely a one of one wherever you step out. You know, it's, it features right here uh, the Jason hockey mask hair on the toe. Um, as far as Freddie goes, uh, you can see the burnt skin of his on the leather features, and then on the cloth features is actually um, the design pattern of the cloth of his sweater. Um, and it's, it's just a really dope design. Um, and for y'all, these are not Nike checks that are on here. These are more just to add to the features of the sneaker. These are not Nike checks, but it does feature a dunk silhouette. So like when I, before, at first, um, when you showed them to me, um, I thought they were dunks. I looked at them, I looked at them and I thought they were dunks. And you know, that's where my mind went with these. Um, but these are really dope sneakers. So what people don't realize is this, because most people do the same thing, right? They think it's a check. It's actually a vulture. They're called the vultures. 
Okay. So what he does is he put a vulture on the side. Oh, and nice. And that's the detail that's, that's a little bit different. Right. So I really love that. Even with um, the box, the box has the blood on it. It's got the vultures. It has his logo. It's got fire on one side, blood on the other. So to me, the fact that someone can pay that much attention to detail mm -hmm. is very big to me. Cool. You know, you don't get that type of craftsmanship anymore. And you really don't get it with some of the high end things. And I yeah. like high end stuff, but it just doesn't give me that same feeling. Right, right. And you know, of course it's black owned, man. You know, we do it better anyway. You know, they try to steal from us all the time, but you know, you know how it goes. Um, so tell me, is this your is this your favorite pair of sneakers of all time or do you have a, another holy grail sneaker? I would say this is my one and number two. The only other sneak I could actually say would be something I want that I don't have in my collection already would be the Wrath of God, all black high top Nikes. Okay. Those I really want. Other than that, Sire Collection is about to go up in mine. Yeah. So you think that's the only thing that you're going to be copying from now right on? Right now, I'm going to focus on that one and then I'll go on to the next one and next one and build my collection. I'm a father, so my kids love to call me a hype beast. I like to buy exclusive mm -hmm. items and hold on to those because uh, a lot of it you're not gonna see later on. Right. Now, is that, do you feel like that's what the term a hype beast means? Because a lot of people use that word so loosely, hype beast, hype beast, hype beast, or that saying rather, not word. Um, but a lot of people use that so loosely. So it, it, do you define yourself as a hype beast? I would say my son does. So if he does, then I do because the things that I like to get right. isn't just gonna be your regular everyday sneakers. Mm. Nine times out of 10, most of the sneakers in my collection, you're not seeing too often, okay. or it only came around for that limited time. It's one of a few. I try to keep it that way, so that way it stays me. Right, it gives you your own sense of personality and style uh, when it comes to the culture of buying sneakers. That's dope. Um, and so you, and you mentioned earlier that, um, you know, the sneaker that you don't have in your collection would be those, those Nikes. And what I want to know is how, give me a story about any time in your life where you came across a pair of sneakers that you must have, but something happened that you couldn't get them maybe, or, or maybe you did get them and had to do something extreme to get them. What, so, what time in your life is that? I can actually give you a story of a time I really bust my butt to get these sneakers, which I Yeah, we not, we not 12. You can curse on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I was about 13, 14 years old when the Jordan Raptors came out. Okay. The first time okay. back in the days when we were younger. Right. And my pops is, I'm straight Haitian, so they was cheap with it. Nobody's paying $100 and I think it was maybe $140. So that's how you know it was a minute ago. And I think I did homework for people. I helped at the grocery store, mad bags, mad mm. bags. <laughs> did anything and everything for every old person on my block. And I lived in Flatbush, Brooklyn. So you know, that's a lot of people. A lot of, a a lot lot of, of, a lot of people. people, you know what I'm saying? I spoke the most Creole I ever spoke. And um, I got my money up and I bought them for myself. At Get Set, <laughs> right off of Junction. I was about 14 years old. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's I wasn't dope. playing. I wanted those sneakers and I got them. It took me a couple weeks. I remember I kept going, kept going, kept dropping a little money. They, the fact that I was a young dude coming every week, dropping some money on some sneakers. Right. I got them within six weeks. They literally fuck with me every every other time after that. Oh, that's dope. So you built a rapport and a relationship oh, with yeah. these guys. Yeah, and if you're from Flatbush, yeah. you had to go to Get Set. Yeah, absolutely. There's certain stores, if you were from the hood, even if you was a nobody, you were still going to get your sneakers there, your Jan right. Sport book bag with the little tassies on it, all that shit. You was getting them there, man. That's some Brooklyn shit. That's dope. As a, so are those the sneakers that you first, you know, fell in love with to make you... That was the first ages? Jordan I bought, but the first Jordan I ever fell in love with was the Jordan 5s. Mm, okay. The we'll white and away. silver, the white and platinum, and then the white and Langley's came out right after. Okay. 
So the, the, I'm still a Jordan 5 head. I've got exclusive really? Jordan 5s I don't really like right the 5s too much. I like, I, I like, I'm proud of you grapes and that's it. So I, I'm gonna get the grapes. I have the white and mint and most people don't even see those like that. Mm -hmm. I have um, the what the 5s. The red and yeah, yellow the one. one. The red and yeah, yellow, yeah. I really like those. Yeah, right? I remember when you got those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you tried to convince me to get them. <laughs> not I've got the, what is it, the the bread fives. And I have a, I have a couple more that, that's in the stash that I'm probably going to bring out next spring. Oh, oh, very dope. Yeah, but I, listen, I thank you for bringing these on this show. I mean, I love having originals here, and especially if it's a black-owned company. Um, th this is by far one of the most different sneakers I've ever seen. And I'm not really, which is why I didn't get the What The Fives, because I'm not really a fan of sneakers that's two different colors. But um, this actually serves a better purpose than just it being two different colors. Um, you know, the, for, for people that, that live that's our age and you know 30 plus and even some late 20s um know how these movies affected us when we were kids so to see a freddie and jason sneaker like this and it be a black owned company to come up with this design is 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 very dope to me and i appreciate you for bringing these here my brother definitely, definitely. thank you so much man for coming on the show and bringing these here my name is extra the director and you're now watching life outside the box all right, guys, so we reached a part of the show where I take a sneaker out of my personal collection and unbox it right here on the show. And um, today, I mean, for the first time, this is the first Adidas that's featured on the show. And I thought uh, I want to be able to, you know, pull out something different. Everybody rocks 350s and 700s or even 500 lows. But what I bought today is you see the box is a little bit wide. I bought some 500 highs. And um, I got these because I knew nobody else was going to like them besides me. I'm a little weird sometimes, but um, these 500 highs, I thought these were very, very, very dope. And what a lot of people sleep on with Adidas is that their comfort quality is, is up there. I mean, I do a lot of things in Adidas. Uh, I, most of my athletic shoes and training shoes are Adidas sneakers because they are very comfortable. And um, I just thought these 500s were pretty different. It, it features this dark chocolate brown um, with this blue, which is kind of an odd combination, and then the, the black on the bottom of it. And like I said, this is something that you really won't see that often. I have yet to see anybody with this pair, and I've had them for over a year and a half now. Um, like I said on the show previously, some sneakers I bring will be brand new, just copped off the sneakers app or confirmed, and some sneakers will just be what I have in my closet. And right now, I've had these for a while, and they still look amazing because I've only worn them twice. And um, yeah, comfortable, dope, and different. That's what I aim for with these. So here you are, Adidas Hot Top 500s. Easy.